Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Unicorn Overlord. We've got two report conversations to do. First one's going to be Chloe and Travis. Travis, oh, oh sorry, I didn't realize you were reading there. Oh, it's more than alright. Did you need something? I did, but is that a new book you have? I can't say I recognize the cover. Yeah, I finished my last one a few days ago, then bought another over in town. I can't exactly haul a library around though, so I always end up selling my old books to fund the new purchases. But wouldn't you rather at least keep the ones you love? My sister never parts with any uh, with a book herself, even if she doesn't have room on her shelf for it. <laughs> Almost forgot you had a sister. Glad to hear she's not quite as bloodthirsty as mine. Honestly, I was the same way back at home. I'd read all my favorites over and over again. Now I just write their names down in my notebook, along with anything else I want to remember about them. Once the war's over, maybe I can start actually building a collection again. I didn't realize they were that important to you, Travis. Yeah, well, I like keeping secrets when I can. Anyway, what was it you wanted to talk about? Oh, right. Dinner will be ready any minute now. Perfect, thanks. Just let me finish this chapter, and I'll be right there. Okay, the other one that we're looking for is where? Right. Oh, we got one over there, too. Elaine and Scarlet. Back on the home island. Okay, so Elaine and Sharon. Thank you, ma'am. Please, it's my pleasure. I scraped my knee real bad, Sharon. There, all better now. Hmm? What seems to be the matter? Uh, my stomach hurts? Yeah, that, that's it. I didn't come here just to look at your face. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> I know your game, pal. You're just faking sick so you can see Sharon. Like you can talk? Who's ever heard of going to a healer for a little scrape? Oh, not so loud, damn it. Just think what she'd say if she heard us talking like this. You know, you're a kind soul to be doing this, Sharon. Especially on a day you're meant to be resting. Yes, well, it's the only way I feel I can repay my debt. Well, your debt to whom? The orphanage here at Ronmort. It's where I was raised, actually. And though they received plenty of donations after Zenoira invaded, there's still so much they need my help with. Uh, I've noticed, yes. I only ask that you not exert yourself beyond your means. <sighs> I won't. Though if anyone should be making that request, it's me of you. And do let me know if you've ever need of healing. I'll be glad to assist however I can. Okay, well that was nice. Alright, while we're here, we may as well look. I kinda wanna save up to, well, you know what, we've been getting some Carn Carnelian pendants, so those aren't really as important anymore. Okay, it offers protection and a base PP plus one. Activates before an ally's attack, reduce damage taken by a row of allies by 50% for one attack. That's pretty cool. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, we need 15. All right, we're gonna get that cleric's cane once we have 15 then. How about that? Lane and Scarlet. Do you remember this place, Elaine? How could I not? Lex and I used to waste hours in these woods, fashioning fallen branches into makeshift swords. And eating nuts from the trees until your stomachs hurt, don't forget. Yes, it's a rather embarrassing memory. Oh, uh, hey, what are you guys doing out here? 
I could ask you the same thing, Lex. Uh, you know, just figured I'd see how the island's been doing since we left. That old altar's the same as always, by the way. You used to get so mad at us for playing back there, Scarlet. That was actually more of a you problem, Lex. And only because you kept trying to climb on the statue. Yeah, guess so, yeah. <laughs> I better get going. Stomach's been killing me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Still a slave to his habits, I see. Please tell me you haven't been eating any nuts, at least. Uh, no. Of course not. Certainly not. Okay. The Black Market Trader. So he shows up in each continent, huh? Alright, let's take a look. Oh my gosh, we got so many right now. The cemeteries. Remaining two cornea cemeteries. This place really brings me back. We used to play here all the time when we were kids, remember? Um, we don't get any clues as to where the cemeteries are, though, do we? Does this count as cornea? Prince Elaine, all of Palavia prays for your success and safety. Well, thank you. Okay, the bridges. The winding wood. Unicorn carving. Um, where was that... Stone face statue thing. I think that's for a quest, right? Stone circle. Let's go to the unicorn carving real quick. Just make sure that that, um... Oh, look, there it is. Is the journal for this? It is. This carving is likely one of the four mentioned in that journal we found. In that case, we should do as it says and examine the carvings in the correct order. Unfortunately, this one doesn't appear to be responding. The unicorn, hmm? The journal notes this is the fourth location in the sequence. It would seem we've made a mistake somewhere. Come, Elaine, let's begin the process anew. Okay. Um, can I read? Which quest is this? Carved of Cornea Stone. Elaine discovered a journal that appears to speak of a treasure hidden by the stone carvings which adorn Cornea's landscape. It reads as follows, Minotaur, Mermaid, Griffin, Unicorn. Okay. Okay, so we have the Griffin. We've got the Unicorn. A stone circle. And a sanctuary, so we're still missing two of them. Okay. I wonder if we can head north in here. So we can't do that right now. Until we find more of those. A wise and old merchant travels the continent selling wares of impeccable quality, but only to Zenoira, liberate more regions of Fevrith, to raise your renown and ultimately change his mind. Okay, it doesn't tell us what level of renown we need, but we clearly don't have it yet. 25% of the world map. Can't do that. Can't do the bridges until we have 30 of those stones. And we're still looking for two more cemeteries which we could have missed somewhere along the way. Hard to know for sure. Okay, and this heads down into Drakenhold? No, probably not, right? Ooh, those are a new enemy type. I've been waiting for you, Prince Elaine. Let me give you a little rundown on the situation here in Voinicola? Voinicola. 
Funicola Harbor to the south of here is currently under Zenoiron control. They use the place as a hub for all their maritime operations and keep it under extremely heavy guard. And well, that's about all I've got. Wish I had more to tell you, but that's the best we've been able to manage. Fine work, given the circumstances. You can leave the rest to us here. So long as we lack a clear idea of the enemy's numbers, it's safe to assume this town here is in peril as well. Our first course of action should be to ascertain how matters stand. I can go in that case. Yes, I suppose the rest of us would stand out. Very well, but be mindful of your surroundings, Chloe. Strange. I would think there'd be a market here. We've got so many mouths to feed these days, keeping our rations stocked has been almost impossible. I hope there's at least someone who'll sell me some food. A shame. I thought you dreamt of becoming a gallant knight, just like your mother before you. Enough. You and I both know they'd never take a half-elf. No one chooses their birth, Ridiel. Your blood may not be pure, but you can't let that stop you from achieving greatness. What's going on over there? If you ask me, the only thing knighthood brought my mother was an early death by Zenoiran Steel. Hi, Ridiel. Hi, half-elf girl. How you doing? Now please, never speak of this again. Sorry to interrupt, but could I ask you something? You're not from around here. Well, um, no. I'm on a sightseeing tour of Fevrith, traveling to new lands with every passing day. In a full suit of armor. Right. The world's a dangerous place lately. Anyway, is there a market near here? I'm running low on rations for the road. Just keep walking. You can't miss it. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Bye, Ridiel. I'm gonna miss you. My son says she's the one selling us out to Zenora, the Alpana. One day, his friends were grumbling in a tavern. The next, they were tossed in a jail cell for sedition. Now, now, you can't go trusting every barb thrown at her just because she was sired by a human. Uh-oh. Girl's gonna find herself in trouble in her own hometown, huh? Okay. I don't like the sound of this. She clearly wasn't who she said she was, so I took it upon myself to follow her. Maybe she is selling him out. Shit. And sure enough, she had a whole battalion backing her up. The rebel army, no doubt. The emblem you describe matches theirs to the last detail. Ridiel, you betrayed me. Quite a valuable bit of info, if you ask me. More valuable than the crumbs you've offered. I thought we had something. Greedy little half-blood. You've already got your pay. I swear, you'd sell your pride if you thought it'd fetch you a few coins. Some way to thank me. If that's how he feels, maybe I will. Those rebels would probably pay me plenty for a little intel on their enemy. All right. Ridiel can't be our waifu anymore. And that's everything the town should make for a fine base of operations during the march on Voinicola. What a name. Thank you, Chloe. Let us prepare to depart at once. A half-elf's resolve. Apparently, Zenoir was willing to pay good coin for any info on so-called dissidents. That's fostered a fair bit of suspicion among the residents here, as you might expect. Level 16! Okay, we're not ready for this. Alright. Guess we're gonna go right on back through this way. <laughs> Say goodbye to that. We can do this a couple times.
Oh, I didn't get my mighty dig. Uh, how many of these free passes do I have? Guess it doesn't really say, does it? Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> Okay, we used all of our free passes, so there we go. Okay, magic attacks, let's see if we can wreck this guy. The dude get knocked back by that fire is so funny. It just kind of like looks like they just gave up. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> Whoops. You must be to march upon the town I now defend. The battle for Elzakurv? It's a level 10, we can do this. The Liberation Army sets out to defeat Dalvid and free Elzakurv town from Zenoiran rule. <laughs> Soldier and knights. Again, these Zenoiran worms, not the fabric of our land. Lauren? No matter, the knight errant Lauren shall see you exterminated down to the very last. That's not a name I'm familiar with. Who is he? I couldn't say, my prince, yet if nothing else, it would appear he wishes to fight at our side. Cool.
Okay, so you're one of my fours that has four. You can take somebody new. Who else do we got? Um, I do want them in the same unit. Um, let's switch you... into there. I thought they... Aren't they supposed to have like a symbol that says that they're deployed somewhere? Why doesn't it? What happened to those symbols? Did I push something that made it go away or something? This lands for the people of Cor- I advance. Take cover! Rude, I just deployed, bro. The time is at hand. To me. I can ill afford to fall now. Defeat will- uh -oh. You don't stand a chance! Fire ability he's got is very good. I see you don't value your life. God, I hate that. Not you. Your villainy ends here. Show me what you ever got. been hit by a hammer. Oh, he's just gonna keep doing that. This'll be fun. Advance. 
I would rather not remain here. I mustn't be beaten. Restore two stamina. We got arrow rain. A perilous foe bars my way. Still? How are you killing me? What a trade-off, huh? Um, let's see, is there anything I can do about that? Now, it doesn't delineate whether magic or physical damage. It's just all damage, 30%. I might try it. I can't save right now, can I? Oh, no! What did I just do? A lamentable end to my duty. Oh, I hit the skip fight button. I was trying to push start to get to the menu. I don't... I don't know what happens when a unit goes down that hard. Wow, that's ridiculous. I hated that. <laughs> okay. Let's get going already. You have magic blocks. any distance how can I assist ready to move head there now guess I'm up on my way until my dying breath your decree made manifest really say the word my steed Probably is swifter than the wind around. I've arrived. Ever been hit by a hammer? I'll not use yes, I'll never run from a This'll be fun. I may be. No, I can ill. This'll be fun. I make this fun. Yeah. For the people, Everybody, do your work. Be One thrust of the lance is all I need. No I stake my honor on this battle. No running. My magic is yeah. right for me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty tough, huh? I'm prepared for anything. Consider it done. Less I than see. Oh, for the people of Thank you. I'll never run. Not I may be out there. Less than ideal. Ungodly fool. Now my fury. I stake my honor on this battle. Some wild stuff. 
stuff right there. I seize this victory as my own. I think we're just gonna go after him then. Yep. I'm within their range. I'll not yield, even in the face of death himself. I can't find an answer anywhere on whether this guy may or may not be recruitable if he dies or not. Um, is there anything I can do with formations? I mean, these guys don't have anything to block magic. Um, can I equip? No, you can't equip in a fight. That makes sense. That'd be a little broken. What if you, you have two AP and two PP. Yeah, it might be better for you to prioritize flying, but. Attack a single enemy or attack two enemies. I'm gonna make another dual shot. doing better. Okay. At least we survive. Shall overcome any odds. I would rather not remain here. A minor inconvenience. God, these guys suck so bad. This is a joke. Try make like, that's an actual here. joke. I'm so pissed. <laughs> I'm actually mad about that setup. Fuck you guys. Ooh, that pisses me off. Okay. Go on, then. May the father smile a little closer to my former strength. Just what banner of man is this Laurent? I mean... I don't know if we could have done this before doing the mission to get Scarlet, but like, here's the thing. We know who he is, right? The dude who just disappeared, who supposedly is back to himself now, and he's covering his face, and we... Like, we know who this is. That was a brutal setup. Those chained blazes are rude. We're free. Well and truly free. You've already done plenty, but perhaps you could make some deliveries and 
help us even further? Oh, Lauren just disappears, huh? Okay. Maybe we'll run into him again. There are some Zenoiran ruins to the north of here, lots of bandits too, though I wager that won't stop someone as daring as you. There used to be a booming mine around here, really brought a lot of bustle to the town. We might just be able to get, get it running again if you made some deliveries. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Come back, Sip. It is still you're after. You're in the right place. Be seated. If the rebels march upon our Zenoiran ruins, they must be after the treasures hidden within. Brace yourselves, men. We'll hold this fortress through any attack. The battle for Istania. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was... All right. Um... We might be a little bit low level for this. Um... I don't think we average a 10 yet, so... Like, we've got some people that are at 10, but not, not 11. The Liberation Army sets out to defeat Lumon and free Fort Istania from Zenoiran rule. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're kind of approaching that level with a lot of our people, though. I think it might be time. What are the weapons that give us um, experience? Increases target by one. And then these ones are just experience, right? Three times experience if they are level 10 or below. my sacred mission. May the Father smile upon me. I can't fail my sacred mission. Okay. We can also go up this way. Tell me what's up, buddy. This is the Lisbush garrison, your highness. We've long awaited your arrival. As for the land of the north, it lies under Zenoiran control. That includes Fort Longrage, I'm sorry to say. And the garrison north of that seems to be a supply depot of sorts. It's heavily guarded, as you might have imagined. What's more, the enemy commander is a displaced Cornea noble by the name of Melisandre. I hear she's not a warrior to be trifled with, despite her relative youth. Another thing, the road leading to the nearby ruins is under strict Zenoiran surveillance as well. I can only assume there's something there worth defending, though it boggles the mind to picture what. In any case, I've no doubt you'll deliver us a triumphant victory, Your Highness. We await your orders. Alright, let's check the level of this. The Blade of House Melee. 
Also 11, okay. I don't think it's out of our reach. But that seems like it'd be a long mission, so I don't know if I want to do it with only 20 minutes left in this episode. What a massive fort. Indeed. Fritz Loss belongs to our neighbors to the east, the storied nation of Drakenholt. Our past relations with them have not been positive, though. They and Cornia have spent much time locked in a fierce war. I understand this fortress was the site of many a harsh battle for our forebears. And now it serves to protect Zenoira and their foul interests. Something tells me we won't be getting through from over here. Okay, it's a one-way door. Got it. Now, for our core site, ooh, we need 30 of those to make a bridge. I want so badly to finish one of those bridges, but we're just not there. Am I able to see people that we haven't finished those uh, optional fights with? 11, 11, and 16. Rolf and Chloe way down there in Drakengard. Other. We got our forts. So no, we can't see these fights that we haven't completed. got a guard there. Now let's see. I don't... I think it's around this way that we can get down to the Draken door or whatever. My magic is yours. <laughs> nice, that's nice. Yeah, his spin attack definitely uh, got rid of a lot of their evasions. Alright, if it's a good group, it's a good group. I'm here to help. Right for me! Rebels doing out in the middle of nowhere. No point asking now, I guess. Ready for battle, everyone. Lontaria. Level 7. Okay. Can we do this in 15 minutes? The battle for Lontaria. Alright, and here's Lawrence again. So I guess he shows up to any of these, um, I don't know what you call these missions, but these ones that you clear these maps on. The heavens themselves shall deliver judgment upon you, foul sinners. Now prepare to be run through by the knight errant, Laurent. Hey, it's that guy from earlier. I recognize his voice. <laughs> I guess they're not really trying to hide it all that much, who these guys are, huh? The 
day will be ours. Where to? Gotcha. No running. Ever been hit by a hammer? <laughs> Not a problem. The time is at hand. Okay, maybe you the just get out of here set. then. <laughs> I wield this lance for the people by your royal word. I got you. Pen there now. Just a moment. I see you don't value your life. Okay, well at least he's gone. Is everything. That should make the rest of this easy. Hard part's done. This'll be fun. Except for when that happens. But Mother. Bow user can finish this. In fact, he can do it all by himself. <laughs> Been hit by a hammer? You're done. For. No holding back. Okay, nines and eleven. Try to make this fun, yeah. I stake my honor. Ever been hit by a hammer? What a joke. You. You see that? Yeah, I say that when I get my ass handed to me too. <laughs> I know not who our mystery knight could be, yet I admit his aid is most certainly appreciated. Alright, so we did two of these uh, town clearings. Thanks a billion for liberating the fort. Gladiators like me can hit entire rows of one swoop and swing of our axe. We're nothing but muscle too, so go on and hire us on, on already. The warrior's weapon of choice is a nice big warhammer. Makes a quick work of armored enemies, I'll tell you what. Have you learned the benefits of our long thrust skill yet, your highness? It's simply devastating against cavalry soldiers. Why not test it out in a quick mock battle? Okay, so maybe that would help. Eh, we're still not getting there, huh? Okay, that gets us killed.
Okay, this formation seems to be doing pretty well against him, too. I'm wondering... go. Huge, dude. Well done for him. About that splendid could almost move me to tears, your highness. In any case, do you better understand the threat we pose to cavalry? Be sure to use a soldier whenever you face them. Okay, we got 50 again. No, for real. What happened to the little icons that told us if somebody was deployed on a thing? Why is it gone now? Oh. Why does it only show up on that? Weird. Okay, well, at least we know now. Okay, so Nina... Morden. So Manette's the only one being left out at the moment, yeah? Poor Manette. I've heard much about your Liberation Army, young man. Here, use this well. Thank you. I will take it. Oh, are you going to teach me about these circles? So we need a shaman for this. Ugh, what a mess. Selvi. No money for a hired sword either. Excuse us, ma'am. Is something the matter? Oh, whatever. Am I... She seems not to have hurt me. How can I fight the soldiers of the damned? Let me talk to her. Hello? <gasps> when did you... How did you... Who are you people? We're with the Liberation Army. Ah, the ones who defy Zenoira's rule. Our apologies for startling you. Nonsense. I share the blame for not minding my surroundings. May we ask what you're doing here, exactly? I was researching this magic sigil, but I've encountered a roadblock, one I have no possible means of resolving alone. What kind of roadblock are we talking? When I awakened the sigil, it breathed life into spectral beings, warriors lost to time, who attacked me with reckless abandon. Hey, warn a guy before you start telling ghost stories. Yet you appear to be unharmed. How about that? Well, I wasn't finished with my story, now was I? As the phantoms creeped ever closer, I was certain my time was finally up. I closed my eyes and waited for the end. But it never came. There wasn't so much as a scratch on my beautiful skin. Odd. After repeated attempts met the same conclusion, I've reached a hypothesis. These ghosts, as you call them, are nothing more than illusions birthed of an ancient sorcery. And the grounds we stand upon were used in days of yore to cultivate strength against the antagonistic apparitions. 
Yeah, that's a lot you just dropped on us. What I'm not getting is, how's any of that a problem? If they can't lay a finger on you, it should be easy enough to keep doing your thing, right? That depends on the thing. I want to know what happens when all of the Sigil's guardians are defeated. Oh, but I'm just one woman, and hardly capable of such a feat alone. Hence the worry. Yes, I've made it my goal of late to study the effects of combating the illusions. And should you be willing to help with my research, I'd be more than glad to join this liberation of yours. Okay. I understand. I agree. We'll do whatever we can to assist. I was hoping you'd say that. Lady's got me all curious now. You mean it? Oh, that's wonderful! Okay. So now we have a lead on these magic sigils. Now then, allow me to cultivate the sigil's power. Yeah! Sylvie, join the Liberation Army. I might have enough divine shards for that mace that I wanted to get for Scarlet. Alright, I think we're going to do this in the next episode. So yeah, let's do that. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and in the next episode, we'll see about these sigils. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Hannah Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, Philip Doughty, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.